everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel Brady, I'm a mum of two with another baby on the way. I'm 20 weeks pregnant with my third child. My older two are seven, that's Arthur, and five, that's Beatrix. I'm a kind of mummy vlogger. Uh, I'm a stay at home mum, work at home, if you call vlogging work. Um, I've got a blog as well with just like over 500 recipes on there. Go and check that out, MrsRachelBrady.co.uk. And yeah, nice to meet you if you haven't been here before. Today's video is something I've really been like, should I make this video? But then I just thought, do you know what, sod it. It is definitely a TMI video. So maybe if you're a man, you might wanna like watch another video or maybe like if you watch these videos with your kids, maybe like pick another one. Uh, but if you're just, if you're like me, if you're pregnant, then just you might enjoy this because I'm hoping anyway that some of these weird pregnancy symptoms are not exclusive to me. I'm really seriously <laughs> gonna be worried if people are like, uh, no, that's never happened to me. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on. The first weird pregnancy symptom that I'm having a lot is dreams. So my dreams fall into like three categories at the minute. Like one is just like normal dreams, just like, yeah, they're always a bit weird. Two is like rude, like X-rated dreams like embarrassingly so, I'm not asking for these dreams, but like in the morning, I'm just like, whoa, that was really rude. Like, what is that about? Seriously, please tell me other people are having this. Um, and also it doesn't marry up with kind of the reality of the, how I feel in the day. Although you do get a bit kind of fruitier during pregnancy at certain times, but it really depends on your energy level. So like that isn't matching up. <laughs> And like, it's it's the dreams, it's what's going on in here. I mean, I suppose you've got more blood circulating around your body going to those parts of your body. So like maybe that's affecting your brain, but hell, they are rude. And I'm, I'm embarrassed when I wake up. The other category of dreams that I'm having is um, like guilt dreams. So I actually gave up drinking last year uh, and after kind of three attempts, finally nailed it. And I'd uh, say so the, the giving up drinking and the pregnancy aren't related. I just decided to quit drinking because it just really wasn't good for me anymore. Um, so I have dreams a lot of the time where I'm getting really drunk and I'm smoking and I'm pregnant in the dream. And like, then I'll be really hungover and I'll be saying to my friends, oh man, like I got really drunk. I'm really hungover and I smoke loads, but like, do you think the baby will be okay? Awful things like that. And the relief when I wake up for like a few seconds, I can really feel it felt like it's real. And it's just the relief is so amazing to know that you haven't been drinking or smoking. So yeah, the rude dreams and the guilt dreams. The next weird pregnancy symptom, this is just gross, is like smelliness. So obviously we're human beings, we sweat, we poo. It's just like, get over it. I'm okay about these things. But I swear to God, like normally I could definitely skip a day of a shower and I wouldn't smell. Like, um, but like at the minute I am having to shower every day because I'd just be up in the morning making a cup of tea. Whoa, like I can, like it's whiffy, I'm whiffy. And I think it's just all that activity in your body and extra hormones and so on, creating just that extra layer of like sweaty smell. Um, and it's just not the greatest. It's, it's like, you know, I tried an eco deodorant recently and that was just not cutting the mustard at all. So I don't feel like I'm really, really sweating, like not, but it's like the smelliness. Ooh, a smelly pregnant woman. Let's talk about toileting, okay? Let's talk about poo. So, <laughs> my issue with pregnancy pooing, it starts with the fact that I always go a bit anemic and I always have to take ferrous sulfate, which is like an iron supplement. It's like a hardcore iron supplement. Um, and I have to take three tablets a day. So the first thing that that does is make your poo black. So I have black poo. And also the second thing it does is make you really, it's make poo like really hard. So don't, I don't just have black poo, I have black poo that looks like kind of rabbit poo. It's also constipating, so I have piles. Oh man, this is probably the worst side of, of all of the symptoms. The other ones are just a bit weird and inconvenient. This is like, it's, oh the piles, is, oh I just, I, I keep kind of mentioning it to Adam, maybe I shouldn't, that's gross. 
and he's like you need to go to the doctors but they're not at a stage yet where it's like affecting my life or anything but like i know once i'm pushing that baby that's gonna get worse the piles are you know i remember last time i never had piles before i had children like i think the first time i had piles was my first pregnancy at this stage and then obviously you're pushing a baby and i just remember the stitch the combination of like stitches and piles oh god so much to look forward to next weird symptom it's probably the uh, although toileting and poo and all those things aren't nice like things to deal with this is probably the most emotionally difficult and it's moods uh, so in my first trimester trimester i had occasional rage outbursts and i thought that they'd pass but then i had another one yesterday uh, in response to just a comment that um adam made it was a bit of a it was a bit of an annoying comment but i just completely overreacted and also with the children i think yesterday was a really tough day for me for reasons i can't go into here <laughs> emotionally it was a tough day uh and i think you're really sensitive as a pregnant woman you're carrying a lot of stress and you're but you're also in a protective like state so if people push your boundaries or overstep the mark or if the kids really test you for me anyway and i don't like it and i'm not proud of it but i will slip over really quickly into that kind of red mist rage where i'm like my voice changes and i'm like Wah. Uh, and it really takes it out of me um, emotionally afterwards as well. So it's like exhausting. The other, but I can flip and thankfully now I'm in the second trimester, um, mostly I am like in this kind of euphoric nesting mood, which is beautiful and I love it. And I've been feeling really good the whole second trimester so far. But yeah, I thought the rage had passed, but it's not passed. I still am getting these little bits of rage and um, they're really hard to deal with. Um, so please tell me you get them too so I don't feel like a psycho. The last weird gross uh, pregnancy symptom is just like the amount of growth that's going on. <laughs> so like hair growth, hair's going really quick. I had my hair cut short and it's growing like so quick. Like eyebrows, I had to go and get my eyebrows waxed. Like fingernails, so a lot of it's positive, like fingernails and hair, but also just like everything is growing, everything. like. Uh, I never had a skin tag before and then I had my son Arthur and I had these kind of I'm not going to show you these little tiny skin tags like um, oh, just like just, we call them jelly tots in our family and just like little tiny bits of skin and I started to get them kind of just like not millions and not massive or anything just like the odd one I know where they are and uh, they never went away and I feel like I've got a few new ones on this pregnancy. <laughs> And it's just like um, everything's growing like crazy because your hormones are just like and I guess that's a good sign and I'm just, that was probably the sweat and the emotions and all of that stuff. It's just like your body is just like bursting forth which is amazing and it's incredible but yeah it also has these kind of slightly unpleasant bits to it. So guys I hope you enjoyed my video on weird and gross and odd pregnancy symptoms please tell me that you have some of these symptoms or that you've had them um i mean as as pregnancy symptoms go i suppose they're not that bad and overall oh my gosh i'm so happy to be pregnant this third baby was try we tried for like three years to have this baby it's such a gift i'm so happy and i can totally put up with these pregnancy symptoms i just think it's quite nice to share and it's quite fun to kind of let other people know the weird things that you're going through so that they don't feel alone and you feel better too <laughs> So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you are already subscribed, remember to hit the little bell and you get an alert when I upload. That's all for now, guys. Bye.